Hi, and welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. Today is episode number six in our home maintenance series. So today, we're talking ladder safety. All right, so we're talking ladder safety. And I believe that this is in a very important video that needs to be put out and this needs to be covered extremely thoroughly. So we're gonna break this down into two parts. The first part today, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly and safely carry ladders. We're gonna do A-frame ladders and then we're gonna do your regular extension ladders. So let's start with the A-frames. All right, your A-frame ladders or your step ladders come in all different lengths and sizes. We have your typical six foot A-frame right here with us. Now they do get larger all the way up to the 12, 16 foot A-frame ladders. Mostly of those for like in churches or in construction sites when they're trying to reach up real high, change light bulbs and whatnot. But they still all get carried basically the same way. Now for this little six foot, I mean I'm 5'10", so this is a rather simple carry for me. But one of the things I want to do is to make sure I reach through and grab on this back side, the back side right here. That will stop the ladder from opening when I'm walking. Now with this little guy, it's just a simple pick up there, kind of brace here, and then I can walk wherever I want to go. Now, with some of your larger ones, just like we'll show you with the extension ladder, you're going to want to raise your other hand, your non-dominant hand up. So that way it can brace and you can hold it out and away from your body like such. Kind of awkward on this one, but you'll understand when we get to the extension ladders. Now, if you're gonna do a side carry, you bring it down, then you come onto the side that where it opens up from. So that way that can be braced against your body. Try to find the middle of the ladder the balance point, put a hand there, and then a guide hand up in the front, and then walk. Rather simple when it comes to carrying your A-frame ladder, especially this little baby six-footer. There's nothing to this ladder whatsoever. It's made out of fiberglass, so it's extremely light. <clears throat> when you get into your larger ones, that's when it becomes a little bit more awkward. When you get to a really larger one, if you're doing the side carry, I would suggest that you get a buddy to help you do that. So that's it when it comes to carrying, safely carrying your A-frame ladder. Now, let's move on to the extension ladders. All right, now we're talking about our bigger extension ladder. The one I have in my hand is a 22 foot extension ladder. It's made out of aluminum, it's kind of light, not as light as my 32 foot extension ladder, but it's still light enough that one person can carry it. Now, when you're carrying these big, bulky extension ladders, the very first thing you want to do clear your path. You want to make sure that there's no tripping hazards. You want to make sure if you're going to carry it vertically that you look up. There's no low-lying branches, limbs, electric lines, cable lines, phone lines, string, rope, anything that could catch any part of the upper portion of the ladder and throw you off balance. You can get, you can hurt your back and get seriously injured 
just by a simple piece of string that catches the top of the ladder and throws you off. So, once you've done that, you've walked your point from A to B, from where the ladder is to where you're going, then it's time to transport your ladder. Now, personally, I find it easier for me to carry my ladder vertically and do a side carry. Now, how I do that is, is I come on the back side of the ladder. I reach through, I make sure that my extension is locked so that way the ladder cannot go up and down. I reach through and grab the lowest rung I can grab. Grab it there and then I take my other hand and I reach up to the highest rung I can have. Now one of them is going to be holding the extension part and then my other hand is holding the basic, the frame ladder part. And then I bend at the knees and I pick up. Now, I am balanced. I can carry this thing all day long like this. And then you can walk. You just be very careful. This hand down here, your bottom hand, is mostly just to keep the ladder from kicking way out. All of the weight should be in your upper arm. And it's then you just walk from point A to point B. Now, you have it out on the side of you. Now, there is a front carry that you can do, and I would only suggest carrying it this way for a very short distance if you carry it this way at all. But it's basically the same thing except for you just reverse hands. You're facing your ladder, you have it up like this, and then you walk. Always remember to bend and lift with your knees, lift with your legs. In the ladder, you find the balancing point with you and the ladder with your hands, and that's a very easy carry. Now, just like the A-frame ladder, you can do a side carry. This ladder is small enough that one person can carry this one by itself, but it's the same way. You find the middle, you find the balancing point. Most of the weight is all in one arm. The other arm can help, but it's mostly to help keep things balanced and to maneuver it when needed. Those are the ways, the safe ways to carry your ladders. Now, next week we will go into how to set up the ladders, how to set them up on a building, how to just regular set them up to clean your gutter to make sure that they're level. We'll also show you, show you some gadgets that you can put on the ladder to stop it from damaging the house and to help find the level. I hope this video has helped you out. Don't forget to check us out on the web at www.bigbearhomestead.com. Don't forget to come on over to Facebook, give us the old like. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And also, please, don't forget about our live shows every Monday and Saturday as part of the Homestead Network. Talking about the Homestead Network, you can go to thehomesteadnetwork.com. That's thehomesteadnetwork.com. And when you get there, you can click on the link of what's called Showtime. And that will put out a list of all the other amazing YouTube channels that are a part of the Homestead Network. And it'll also give you the day and the time of their live streams. Then all you have to do is hover over their name and click, and it'll take you right to their, their YouTube channel. And hey, while you're there, do us a favor. In that upper right-hand corner, leave us your email address. 
We need that in case something happens to one of our live streams that we need to change something up or we add a new channel with a new day and time. Because we don't want you guys to miss any of the amazing shows that are part of the Homestead Network. If this video, number one in the, in the home maintenance series on ladder safety has helped you out um, with being able to carry the ladder, please give us the old thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or if you know of a different way to safely carry the ladder, hey, leave that comment below. All we ask is that you be nice and be polite and courteous of others. If not, comment will be removed. And hey, if you're new to our channel, hey, and you want to be part of the Big Bear family, hey, why don't you slide on over there and hit that subscribe button. We would really appreciate it. Well, that does it for this video. I can see you guys next week when we're talking about putting these ladders on a building. Thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead. And like always, have a nice day.